It's your boy back again with another YouTube video. Guys, um, I thought I'd seen everything. I mean, I've seen some shit in my life. I've seen some shit in my four years on this earth. I thought I'd seen it all. <sighs> Damn it, apparently not. <laughs> my job, guys, I've told you, takes me to many people's houses, many people's apartments, things like that. Say, figure out whatever you want to figure out about that. But it takes me to a lot of people's dwellings, their homes. Okay. So I had to go to this hotel where I live at. And this is not the best hotel, guys. It's not like a... You hear my dog destroying stuff in there. Quit it! It's a joy having two big pit bulls in the house. Anyway... Maybe there's... Hey! Would you stop? Sorry, guys. My dog was crazy. Anyway, um, this hotel you go to, it's not one of these nice Holiday Inn fancy hotels. Nah, this one of them quote-unquote extended stay hotels, which is pretty much just code for... I'm not saying all, but this hotel extended stay is pretty much a quote for pretty much a cover for this is the dope hotel, this is the meth hotel, and it's also the hotel the hotel where homeless people piss. I'm just I'm just telling you how it is. So driving up, I gotta go to this dude's room. Now, I said my job takes me to several different places. I go to this dude's room. I'm driving up, and I'll get about. Halfway to his room, and I'm driving around the corner of this hotel, and it's a sketchy-ass hotel. Dude. I'm just telling you. I've seen some shit there. I'm driving around the corner, and I get about almost to his room. And then I look, and I see something outside. I'm like, you ever see something outside of you? And you're like, I know I didn't just see what I think I just seen, because I better not have just seen what I think I just seen, or some shit's going down, because that shit shouldn't happen. Yeah, it was one of them looks. Um, so I go to the dude talk to him, do I need to do? I get back in my car and I could have circled around the back of the hotel and just went out and I was like, nah, nah. Well, this is a once in a lifetime thing. I got to see this shit. I got to see if it's real. So I circled around, went back. As I'm pulling out and guys, I'll try to put this picture in the description. I'm pretty sure it'll let me, but I'll, I'll put it in the description if I can. Guys, I'm pulling out of this hotel. Mind you, the people that live here are not making the best life choices. In my opinion, they're not making the best life choices. They got some scandalous shit going down. But anyway, I'm on my way out. And these people, I look at this hotel room, and I'm like, I know it ain't what I think it is. And I stop and look. I pull up from people's door to the picture. That's how crazy it was. These people had a 74-inch 4K HD TV. Just... The box, just chilling outside, just, man, just chilling. And I'm like, ain't this a bitch? I went back to my work and I said, I, I was losing my shit. I was like, look at this bullshit. And I pulled it up on the phone, people looking at it. And somebody's like, well, maybe it's just a box. And then one of the other people I work with popped up and said, no, I went up the other day. He's got that TV. It's like it's on a dresser, but it's not mounted nowhere. And there's just wires and shit going everywhere. I'm like. So, uh, I told him about work. I said, apparently I'm doing something wrong. I said, what do you mean? I was like, this dude is living at the meth hotel. This dude's living at the meth hotel. Yeah, I own three acres, two pieces, uh, on three acres of property, two houses on those two acres, and this dude living at the meth motel has got a bigger TV than I do. I'm like, man, something got to be wrong. Maybe I need some financial advice from a meth head because apparently he knows the shit I don't know. Just saying, it was just crazy to me that they live in this hotel that costs like $29 a night, but yet they got a $900 TV. <laughs> and I don't hate you, Hustle. If you somebody that spent that much on TV, congrats. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. But if you somebody spent that much on TV, and you don't have an apartment, and you don't have a house, and you are staying in a hotel, and you're paying a hotel day-to-day, -day, and you're staying around a bunch of drug heads, 
in my opinion, you make better life choices. That's just my opinion. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That shit, that shit just, that shit just tr- screams cut off, jo- that shit just screams cut off jean shorts and dirt driveways to me. I'm just, I'm oh God, I'm sorry guys. I don't mean to rip on nobody, but damn, that's ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. I'd be like pulling up that hotel and seeing a fucking Lamborghini sitting there and you're like, ain't this a bitch. I can go on camera fucking day and I can't buy a Lamborghini, but this meth head's got one. <laughs> It's crazy. It's not the same scale, but you know what I mean. It's just ridiculous. It's something you don't expect to see at a crack motel. Somebody with a 75-inch TV and it's just sitting outside. I'm like, yeah, there's TV. No big deal. I'll just put the box outside to fuck with everybody. Dude, I, I'm not saying... It might be me. I've lost sleep over his shit. You think I'm joking. I've lost sleep over his shit. I come home. I told my fiance, I said, how the hell don't we have an 80-inch TV? She goes, Huh? And I told her the story. She goes, wow, really? I was like, yeah. How's he got a bigger TV than I do? And he living at the meth hotel. Bullshit. what it is. <laughs> Guys, I'm just saying. I even messaged one of my buddies. And I sent a picture of it. <laughs> and I said, either somebody at this hotel hit the power ball. Or somebody shit just got jacked. I'm going with number two. Because <laughs> I'm fairly sure. I don't think they purchased that TV on the up and up. I I could be completely wrong. I could be a jackass. They could be, they could be hardworking people that purchased that TV. But my whole thing is, I'd be saving up money for an apartment to get out of the the crack hotel. That's just my opinion. I, I don't talk. I'm not talk trying to talk bad about nobody that's in that phase in their life where they need to stay there. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is most people that are staying there or staying at places like that, are trying to save up money to get out and to get to better places. They're not just going out here and blowing $900 on a damn TV just because they're like, oh, $900 to get a TV. Never mind, I live in a fucking hotel room. Don't matter. TV. Boom. 900 bucks. I'm just saying it was a little crazy to me. Maybe it ain't to you. Bless me. I fall asleep over it. That's it. I'm cutting it off. All right, guys. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. Thank you so much for everything you do for me, guys. Thank you for... Uh, thank you for always being here thank you for being around the channel thank you for tuning in i really appreciate it we got once again got supers going click that down there if you want to donate if you want to you want to join the fam want to join the channel memberships are available right now up here at the top where it says join click on that you get extra videos and extra perks it goes through all the levels um Two ninety nine, five ninety nine, ten ninety nine. It's not really that bad. So or nine ninety nine, I think something like that. Anyway, it's not over ten dollars. None of them's over ten dollars. So I want to make it cheaper. Everybody can afford something. Whatever they want to do. Uh, <coughs> damn, get choked on your spit. Sucks. All right, guys. Y'all have a good week. Have a good. Have a good as week as you can at work. Uh, love each other. Care for one another. Treat each other as you want to be treated. Peace.